Hello and welcome. This is Tower of Death, and we are getting back into Quasar 1. I just realized that uh, people are watching my channel. Isn't that great? Well, uh, now, the series that I had originally, um, it was an older version of Quasar 1, and there was some bugs and everything else which didn't allow for the game to actually end. That's why I never found an end. Also, too, with the bug of the infinite uh, memory and PP, the uh, points, to upgrade everything, um, those are now gone in this version. All the bugs have been wiped out, pretty much. So, with that, we are going to start a new game. Alright, so, first things first, is that we are going to... Oh, uh, sorry, this is my game that I had earlier going. Uh, yeah. We want reset. New game. There we go. All right, and of course we're going to get all of the wonderful pop-ups and everything. So that we oh, actually we don't need to. Uh, yeah, we will close that, and we will go and do this. Alright, so I don't have to go through everything all step by step. Now, uh, like as uh, in the previous one that I was just playing earlier, um, objectives completed. I I actually lost <laughs> because there was just too many things going on all at once that I couldn't repair the ship in time. objectives. Upgrade power plants. Uh, do I have enough? I think, yeah. And execute maintenance for power plant 2. Upgrade power plant Warning, memory overflow. 
No worries on that. There we go. Now I need that one over there upgraded, which is doing it. Um, as far as, like, when you reach the destination, I still do not know exactly when. Um, I was reading other players' comments, and they had done it, like... Objectives completed. I think they were saying, like, day 180, or somewhere around in there. I, I just don't know. I mean, as far as I know, what I'm going to do is try and complete all the objectives. That's pretty much it. Objectives yep. completed. Okay. We need more. We need more of everything. Uh, life support needs to be upgraded as well. This, this is what I had problem with, and I think what I'll do this time around is try getting this upgraded at a higher priority, so that way I can make sure to have all of these repair points going as fast as possible. <laughs> See, at least with this, the only, you only have to shut it down and restart it once, and then you can do maintenance on it. So that way you don't have to come always shut it down. Um, as far as, like, all of this over here, I've never really found that... I mean, other than when the hole was leaking, I would run out of oxygen, but that's essentially how I died, is that the hole was broke and I couldn't repair it in time and all the oxygen sapped out. But, I mean, water, hydrogen, and food, I've never ran short. The CO2, um, as always, for me, has been pretty much nothing, and that's because it's always being converted back into water. thing. I think I just need to upgrade these again. Uh, we have whole damage. Alright, that's done. Uh, I do not have enough yet. Increases the efficiency, but I don't really want to be doing that just yet. I think I need to upgrade these first. Not enough resources. Uh, upgrade and yep. Okay. And takes the longest. Always takes the longest. But that's fine. And then what we could do is instead of the extra research points, we will do components. We can get those up. Because even though we get points, the components, every time we upgrade and later on, you 
you can only upgrade her so much, so many times. You know, she only goes up to level five, and then after that, you know, it's really good early on to start getting those coming in. that like this right here was something you could like set for like how fast you want to reach the destination like you can throttle up or throttle down you know so that way you can burn up the fuel that you're producing but the fuel is essentially turning into well it's turning the O2, H2, and H2O, and electricity, you know, power, which is great if you have extra O2 and H2, which usually I do. Uh, so, it's like, I don't know, I, I just... But I mean, like, I wish that you could, like, turn those fuel cells into actual propulsion to reach where you're supposed to get going. Uh, as far as I know, there, there still isn't any way to steer the ship. It's all autopilot. do the maintenance, and it's cheaper and faster than if something were to completely break down. Then you have to pay to repair it, and it takes longer. Hopefully that's not dimming for you guys. I'll probably have to uh, turn my auto off here. And so, yeah, uh, I'm actually playing this on my phone, recording it on my phone. And the phone that I'm using is the LG V20. infinitely go up. Like, you would get points every single time that you would hit it. So, you get the... Well, as of right now, I'm making two components per second. And then, so you would get that, plus every time that you tapped on it, you would get an additional two. So if you could tap on it three times per second, you know, then it would give you an additional six components per second. 
was great, but it broke the game because then you couldn't actually beat it. Like, uh, that's how the bug worked, as if something like that was happening, then you couldn't actually beat the game. Like, the game wouldn't end at all. There was no end game, period. I've never been able to get the O2 above 21% from anything that I've done. Uh, looks like our CO2 needs to be maintained. But yeah, as I was saying, I've never been able to get this higher than that, and I've never had pretty much anything of CO2. Food, always good. I mean, I've, I've always done good on that. You know, always was able to have hydrogen and water and food, and I guess the bare essential of oxygen, what you need. I need to get this upgraded so that we can get more of these repair points, you know, saved up. Uh, I think next for the power would be to go ahead and upgrade this. And once we hit enough by the points up here, then we can do that. Um, another thing I have noticed too is if you have full water, these will automatically shut off. So if your water gets full, then these just shut right off. And it's kind of a pain, because then you're not producing water or anything. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. See, this is what I mean. Like, we have multiple places damaged now, and now we're back down to the bare minimum on points and it takes a hundred points to do one repair like you can't just you know hit it like as it is and then just do like partial points or anything like that you can only do them in chunks of hundreds this again before doing the uh, power distribution to get the efficiency out of that. thing with having to have everything repaired, you know, like I said before, is if you don't do it, then it starts sapping out your O2, and then it's just game over from there. Oh, jeez, that took 700 damage. 
gonna be a while before we can get that. so that way you can avoid damaging from hitting asteroids, you know, and space debris and everything else. died game. Uh, I really would like to get through a playthrough that where I actually win and beat it. That's right, we're not going to be able to make it. My O2 is going down. Way down. Fast. Oh man. This is horrible. off to save some.
I just don't want that O2 going way low. Where are we at? Okay, we're starting to steadily climb. Because that's all you need, or what? Uh, do we have? We do have enough. What can we start on that? Faster. I mean, not really by much. Still, always faster is better. Still not hemorrhaging any O2. 
Probably is now that we got two spots. Uh, just a tiny bit. CO2 needs to be maintained. Uh, right, so now I need to start upgrading the batteries and the storage control unit. time without dying. I don't know. And, oh, uh, yeah, so, this will be a good time to save, and I think that will be it for today's episode. Thanks for watching.